Well, it's another day. I got out here and I decided I got to get some work done on it. Before the wife kills me, at least get it running. So this is everything that I found in the back. Wood, bolts, wires galore, some exhaust, some blue stick. Rim, spring for the hood latch. Only one hood latch. Uh, I also did have almost an entire garbage bag full of leaves I pulled out of the back. Grab some bolts out of the garage just to try to get this hooked up. So at least it's kind of starting to look like it, but just as I kind of thought, I gotta look under and see where this is bolted to the frame because this is all pretty, pretty cheap rusty metal that they cobbled together, which I don't really want to change it much. I just want it to be safe if I ever want to use it. So got one of the lights working in the garage. Just got to clean it up. Now I want to get the tail lights out. So I got the lights out, but <laughs> well, I was trying to take that one out. Just the whole bracket that it was uh, bubble gum welded together with just completely fell out. So I think I have to spend some more time underneath. See how structurally sound or not safe this thing is. Also have some little tie down straps I want to put in. So I'll get those welded down. Here's the, uh, the cable that was used to run back to the winch from the front of the vehicle to the back. Uh, although dirty, it's actually in pretty good shape. This uh, kept it pretty well protected so I might just pull this off and try to reuse that. So what I'm working on today is the winch. So started taking the cover off also started dissecting the electric I tried to jump it off here's a motor I tried to jump it off all it did was spark and uh, this little guy was down touching so yeah obviously and you can see how many times someone is someone else was fiddling with it trying to get it to start so we'll get a new motor uh, which really stinks because it looks like it's a uh, pretty good shape so I'm taking this guy off right now, all the solenoids. We'll get a couple new solenoids, we'll get a new motor, and uh, I got a new winch cable. So now, just using this Allen wrench, I'm pulling uh, these two solenoids off, and then I can hopefully redo that in the garage. Although, it supposed to be bolts there? Uh, I'll have to look. Oh, and uh, look how far this guy was shorted out. It had been touching. So, try to get a new plate for that. So, right here, this is where the motor went. It sat right under here, connected on there. Um, not rusty, teeth aren't worn down. So, I don't know, maybe I can check on getting this rebuilt uh, by someone who does starters. Come out. Alright, unless it is kind of hard one handed. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, this is uh, along the back. Right there is where that, um, that one piece when it went from one terminal to the other. Wow, look at that. Uh, so anyways, while I'm in here, I'll try to clean this up. I'm going to um, I'm gonna take the cover off of there and look at all the gears and everything in uh, the winch. It, uh, I'm also going to work on mounting this better and put some more metal in underneath. Alright, so we got ourselves some goodies here. We got uh, two of these. got two new solenoids for the winch hopefully these are the right ones and uh, got this in also holy smokes hold on alright so we also got a uh, Got this guy in, new motor for it, but I gotta swap the gear over. Is there a keyway on that? Yeah. 
let's go get the other one. So, we need this and we need that. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, here we've got new versus old. This was the offending issue right here. So, this guy is good. Swap this gear over from there to there. Swap these onto there and we should be good. How did it go together?
mean, man? Yeah, those should be touching. Okay, so trying to make some progress. Still waiting on my woodruff key, ordered another one. I gotta swap these couple bolts over. I can put the motor in. Uh, just about finished with redoing the solenoids. I need to get another connector for that. And that's it. Yeah, those, I guess I can maybe use one of these for a starter. Solenoid, replacement. All right, let's see if we can get this thing working again. Got a, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I pick up this guy and I'm gonna put this inside the cab so I can control the winch from inside and then I got this weatherproof guy. Hold on. Free bay action. Cool part is, I've got a, uh, a connector here. So we, if we want, so either A, I can just use the magnet, have it stick, or if I want, I can mount this guy somewhere. We'll have to see. I think that these will probably rust. I need to take them off. All right, so let's get to work. And uh, I need to wire this the right way. I didn't do it last time.
So we also picked up some other stuff. So this was the, uh, I don't know, maybe a garden tractor starter something. I don't know. It didn't fit. And in here should be little pieces. the doors. These might be for the doors. Yep. These are for the doors. So we actually have <laughs> actually lock this thing up. Not that anyone's gonna steal it. Uh, next thing I gotta track down is uh, little chrome rings that go on the front and then I need to figure out this wiring right here. Or what I could also do is just Use some little spade terminals because they all seem to fit perfectly. So I think this is the route I'm going to do or go. I'm going to go ahead and put these on so I don't use these on another project before I need them for this and I have to go buy another set. So if anybody has a wiring diagram for this little ignition switch and want to send it to me please hit me up. Let me know. I would love to get that without having to buy a whole manual. So, there we go. And this should slide in the lock right there. Alright, something else I wanted to work on. I've got picked up some fasteners here. And these go put these guys in and they are just too long. These should be exactly the right length. And what this does is holds up the wiring. Wait, there you go. Holds up the wiring underneath. So I'm gonna replace all these. All right, so I know you can't really see, but I got a battery that I don't know how charged it is. We've done some uh, rigging. Had to rewire it apparently the first couple times I did it. I didn't quite do it right, so thanks to the internet. So now let's see what happens. Well, if I can... Ooh, I think we have success. Hold on. Okay, so right here I give it a shot. Let's see if it'll work. And it's not cutting off. Uh oh. Oh, turn off, turn off. <laughs> the winch is almost at the full height. This is going to get torn up. So there's me almost pooping my pants. What happened? What went wrong? Is it this little eBay button I bought? And take this bolt off. So now I'm just thinking, all right, maybe it was this thing. So now I'm going to go check out and see if possibly the, uh, the other switch that I have wired up to it might work. Yep, it's pretty high up there. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go get the other switch. And let's see what happens. We'll just hold the battery terminal on there. Not bolted on this time. Let the winch out anyways, so I go ahead and let it down all the way here in a second. Sticky solenoid. So what happened is uh we got two solenoids here 
and using this guy, I hit, uh, I don't know what I hit, I think I hit down and it started going up, maybe, or up, or, I don't know, but this solenoid, I believe, is the one that stuck open and it just kept chugging right away. So, I need to see, did I just get a bad solenoid or what? But <laughs> the problem was I had the battery hooked up and it was uh, bolted in. Oh, where's the bolt? Anyways, so here it is. So I had it screwed in and uh, I couldn't make it stop. Except I was trying to, uh, kept pausing because I was hitting the other button trying to get it to stop and it wouldn't. But on a good note, I got this down on the ground. I can uh, flip it upside down. Anyways, you uh, can't really see it. Holy crap, is this thing loud. Uh, also, the pulley up here, the pulley that was on it, it had just like a little quarter inch bolt, maybe a third of an inch, something like that. And that is all that's holding that up there, so I gotta redo it. And also, up here, you can see where the cable drags in that metal. So I got a pulley I wanna put in right here to hold it down, I'm gonna weld it in. And also that looks way too small um, and I also don't trust this but I don't plan on pulling anything but if I do want to use the winch I at least uh, use it as a winch like I want to pull up some bushes and stuff then I need to get all this stuff fixed so that is I'm trying to get this off so that I can pull this pulley back out and find another good one um, what I'm going to use on the top let me see if I can find it. It's a snatch block. So, got this guy off of, uh, I don't know, Amazon, Fleabay, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna flip it outwards so they kinda go out. And then uh, I'm gonna chop this off and I'm gonna weld a plate on it. I'll put that plate across the top right there so that, that it'll come up over that pulley and then down and then straight back to that pulley and then down to that. And then hopefully we should be okay. I also got to cover this up somehow, so I'll just get a jug or something to cover it up. Uh, first test, it wasn't really connecting. I had it kind of janky wired, uh, but I tested the battery and it was good. It had 13.4 volts, so I gave it a shot and it had a sticky solenoid. <laughs> so, <laughs> you saw me poo my pants a little bit because I thought it, something was going to break or uh, something like that. Anywho, and uh, say hey to Fred and make sure the truck stays safe. So that's it for tonight. I'm gonna take that battery out of there and go at it. Also, don't know what all I've shown y'all, so I'll go back in some footage. Uh, been working on the engine. That's full. The radiator doesn't leak. Uh, I do have a new hose. For, we can see it somewhere in here. It's a little L-shaped hose. Oh, it's down here. Um, see if we, nope, can't see it. Uh, put an HEI distributor in. I just gotta wire that up right here. Um, this battery is hooked up, except I need to put that on the alternator, not the alternator, the starter. There's another one there. Um, this light right there for the alternator. Yes, I know I need to unhook the battery since I got positive wires laying everywhere, but it's not moving. And here's what I cobbled together to put in the dash. So it's a little momentary switch, single pull, double throw. Um, these are all the wires for all the brake lights, tail lights, all that stuff on the back. Uh, I got a wire here for the revolving lights. That guy works now. So, you know, it's kind of slowly coming along. I don't get much time to work on it. I got young kids. Um, I really want to test the cab lights out, but I need to pull this, the rest of this wiring out of this vehicle. I just don't trust any of it, and I'm going to redo all of it. So I found a little eBay harness I'm probably going to get for like 60 bucks. This one is just really old and crappy, and it's been hacked into all over the place and I don't know what goes to what 
Um, I mean, especially when you get over here, you start looking at like that. Yeah, that's what the inside looks like also. So, yeah. Got any thoughts, comments, let me know. Also, I, I really want to... I need to redo... Uh, I need to get another power steering mount. This one obviously broke and was re-welded. And can't really see it, but it's all... It's way off. So the belts are going to rub. Um... I also need to figure out, is this, I think this is a 351 Windsor. Um, it's got the little elbow hose on the front, like a, like a 302 or 351 Windsor. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. There's 351 Windsors, 351 Cleveland, 351M, 400s, 391s, I don't know. I'm, uh, if it was AMC, I would be good. <laughs> this, I have no idea. So... Let me know if you know what this is, and uh, after we get the engine running, we will move on to other stuff such as tires, brakes, wheel bearings, um, you know, and uh, the electrical as well. We got to finish. So, peace.